Sup, sup, sup. It's your boy Fadi's Case Love. I want to say good luck, luck to the Caps tonight. I guess a, a, a happy belated Wednesday to the Caps. They face off against the, uh, the Philly Flyers in Philly, well, Fargo Center, and uh, or well, Fargo Arena, I guess what they call it. But um, hope Vesca does his thing as usual. Well, not much in this season, but Dill Strong, Tom Wilson, and others do their thing. Getting the cadets off. Uh, I think so, uh, Sonny Malone's going to be out for a while. So now bring back Joe Snively, the Herndon, Virginia um, native. So I think he's probably back in the lineup from Hershey. So see how to go tonight. And uh, a lot of new guys. Yeah, like a comic Michael, I think. Uh, and uh, other guys, new guys in the lineup. So see how it goes from there. So it's your boy, Fondi's Case Love. All right, make sure to do it to the cash of Dawson with some TV. So let's go Caps, beat them flyers tonight. All right, let's go Caps, Leash the Fury. Yeah. Hey everyone, Mike Vogel here for WashingtonCaps.com with today's ringside update presented by MedStar Health, joined by Caps forward Beck Malenstein as the Caps get ready to take on the Philadelphia Flyers tonight at Wells Fargo Center. And Beck, uh, second week of five in a row that you guys are going to be playing back-to-backs and, and three and four after a somewhat leisurely start for the season as far as leisurely uh, can go in the NHL. How, how do you prepare for uh, that, that kind of stretch of games and so many divisional games as well? Yeah, they're huge. Um, I think it's when you have this many games in this short of time, you really want to be on top of your game. Um, if you can get on a hot streak, you can really jump up in the standings too. So I think we, we really look at that as a great opportunity for us to accept that challenge and, and just like I said, be be detailed and focused on our game and really try to take advantage of it. And you look at the top teams in, in, in the league defensively, I feel like half of them are from the Metro Division. You guys are among them. Uh, how does that, and Philadelphia is too, when you, when you look at, at this team tonight, um, obviously physical game, that, that's, that's how they tend to be. but. We're not used to seeing uh, the Flyers be so stingy defensively. Um, how, how do you see this playing out over these, these four games that you guys have with them this year? Yeah, I think it really just comes down to structure. Like you said, it's, it's two teams that are uh, detailed within their systems, defensively willing to block shots, committed in those kind of ways. So it's finding ways to continue to keep pucks in the offensive zone, uh, wear them down, and, and that's when you start to see structure break, when you can have those extended periods of time in, in the offensive zone, so that's what we'll be looking to do. Can you say about your Lions performance here lately, I think three goals in the last two games, and when you, when you just look at the um, possession numbers, obviously they're not pretty, but you guys are outscoring the opposition 7-2 at 5-on-5 five five and just blowing quote-unquote expected goals out of the water. Yeah, I think for us, you know, we're obviously a more defensive-minded line. Um, but I think when we get into the offensive zone, we've shown that we can create. And for us, it's kind of similar to what we just talked about. Having those defensive-minded details to get us out of the D zone is going to be key for us to get into the offensive zone. And like I said, I think we're pretty confident that once we get in there, we can, we can cycle pucks, we can wear lines down, we can get to the net. Um, and that's shown on the pucks we've been able to put in. So I think we're going to continue to work on that. Thanks to Beck Mellenstein for spending some time with us on today's rinkside update. Good luck against the Flyers tonight. Yeah.